This video will be on mounting data stores using the vSphere web client as well as the vSphere client. I want to mount a SAN data store to one of our ESXi hosts. Here we are at the home screen. I'll select hosts and I will add this SAN to ESXi 5-2. I'll select the host here. I go to networking. I want to add a switch because I'm going to mount this SAN on a separate switch uh, on a separate NIC. Well, here I have virtual switches. Add host networking. And we're going to add a VM kernel network adapter. Select next. I'm going to create a new switch here. I'll select new standard switch and select next. I want to add an adapter. I'll select this green plus sign, VM NIC1, select OK, and Next. I want to give this a label. I'm going to put this in as an iSCSI for the label. VLAN ID, we're not going to use that. TCP IP stack. If we wanted to enable particular services, vMotion, fault tolerance, etc., we have those options there. I'll select Next. I'm going to use a static IP address. It will put in 192.168.88.139 for an IP address. Add our subnet mask. Select Next. And then you get a, a summary of our configuration. And then I'll select to finish. You can see our progress here, adding the virtual NIC to switch one. And once the switch shows up here, we'll go back and we'll add an iSCSI software adapter for our storage. So there's our virtual switch one. We've labeled it iSCSI. We have a physical adapter, VM NIC one. It's a VM kernel port, and this is the IP address we've selected for this NIC. Now we want to go to storage, and here we have our storage devices. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a storage adapter. When I go to storage adapters, select the green plus sign. Here our option is to add a software iSCSI adapter. We'll select that. The adapter will be added, and we can configure that afterwards. Here's our software iSCSI adapter. It's given it a nice SCSI qualified name. We want it to select the targets. We can go here to the targets. I have added and removed this SAN before, so the target is still available here. 192.168.88.131. This is our virtual SAN. It's an open filer. If we wanted to do dynamic discovery, SAN.test.net3260. If we wanted to add another SAN server, we could do that here, put in the FQDN. Ours has already been discovered. So now after we put that in, what we want to do is we want to rescan so that it will find the storage device. Rescan the host storage adapter to discover newly added storage devices. So I'll select that and it will rescan. I'll select storage devices. See once it rescans, our SAN will show up here, and there we are. We have an open filer iSCSI disk with 85.84 gigabytes of storage available to us. Now the next thing we want to do, go to related objects, create a new data store. Here's our location. Select next. It's a VMFS data store. Select next. Here's our open file or disk. Next. We want VMFS5. Select Next. We'll take the entire data store size here, 85.84 gigabyte. And then finish. You can see a SAN data store has been mounted. I'm going to rename that to SAN.
we have a SAN data store. Now we want to mount an NFS data store. So we go to create a new data store. We have our location. Select next. NFS. We'll call this data store NAS 5-2. We put in our server name and then we'll give it the path. And select finish. Now we've added an NFS data store to the host. Status is normal, NFS version 3. Here's our device, nas.test.net, 84.5 gigabytes. We can go to our host here, select data stores. Now you can see the different data stores that are attached. 5-2 is internal, 5-2 NAS is our NAS, and SAN is our SAN. We've installed this host and mounted both a NAS and a SAN to this host. Now I want to show you how to do the same thing using the vSphere client. We're going to use our Windows Sessions credentials. We're going to log in. The security warning, we'll ignore it. There's our evaluation notice. Test data center. We have our two hosts. ESXi 5-2 we've already configured. I'll select that. Go to configuration. Go to storage. You can see we have our internal data store. We have our NAS and we have our SAN. From a networking perspective, we've added our vSwitch 1. This will be for our iSCSI traffic. Storage adapters, we have our iSCSI adapter, our network adapters, we have VMNIC 0 and VMNIC 1. Now we're going to do the same thing from the vSphere client. Here we have our ESX 5-1 host. We're going to go to configuration, networking, we're going to add networking. We're going to use a VM kernel port. We're going to use our second NIC, VM NIC 1. We're going to name this one iSCSI as well. Select Next. We're going to give it an IP address. And a subnet mask. And select Next. And Finish. Now we have two switches. We have vSwitch 0 and vSwitch 1. vSwitch 1 is iSCSI. We've modified that label. We have our virtual NIC here. Now we want to go to storage adapters and we want to add a storage adapter. So right click add software iSCSI adapter. New iSCSI adapter will be added. Select software iSCSI adapter in the list and click properties to complete the configuration. So here's our iSCSI adapter. Now we can go to Properties, Network Configuration. Here's the switch we want to attach this to. We're going to add it here. Then select OK. We're going to add our iSCSI server. Select OK. And there's our server, sand.test.net. If we go to static discovery, it's been added here as well. We'll select the close. We'll get the option to rescan here. We'll do that. Here, our open file, our iSCSI disk, 
is available. We can go to storage. And mount it here. If it doesn't show up here, you can go to Add Storage. Make your selection here for Disk or LUN and move through the process that way. But while we're here under Add Storage, we're going to add our NFS volume as well. So Network File System, select Next. We put in our server name here. nas.test.net we put in our path and we give the data store a name we'll call it NAS select next finish and there you can see our NFS data store has been mounted. It has 84.5 gigabytes, a 44.28 gigabyte free. Now this data store has a virtual machine on it. So we'll browse to the data store. You can see here 2K12-1. We'll browse to the files. We'll select the VMX file. Right click and add to the inventory. We're going to select our location, test data center. We're going to select a host to, to host this virtual machine. ESX 5-1. Select next. And finish. We close the data store browser. And now you can see ESX 5-1 is hosting a virtual machine 2K12-1. That's how you mount your data stores using both the vSphere web client and the vSphere client. Thank you.